There's a gap in the human mind. I, I, I have no other way to account for this. Where we do, it is not natural to think about statistics and probability. Oh yeah, that's around. me. It's it's <laughs> it's not natural. And did you know that that well, it doesn't feel as much fun sometimes? That's true. It, it ruins something what you want to be true or what you feel to be true. Yeah, or the mystery. It takes away the mystery. And but I'm but it's a triumph of human intellect that we even went could figure it out in the first place. Here's what you have: you go to you go to Vegas and and there's someone puts money on a seven on the roulette, and I'll say, why are you sticking with the seven? We say. It's due. Yeah. And they're looking at, and, and the roulette table, they have a list of all the previous numbers. Yeah. And they say, it hasn't shown up. It's due. No, it's not. It's <laughs> not due. Every roll has the same probability. Every time? Uh, every time. Right. It's not due. All but right? what is, so what is that feeling then that we get? What is that I'm feeling? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Other things, the people rolling dice and they need a low number, like a three or four. So they roll the, the, the dice yeah. gently. <laughs> <laughs> and if they need a high number, they'll throw it hard. No. And so, so do you know who exploits this about us? Casinos. Casinos know we suck at math and probability and statistics. So they exist. Other human beings learn this about human beings and created an entire industry wow. to exploit it. Damn. It's sad. Oh. And, 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 and the, my, my people, my people, the uh, American Physical Society, physicists, um, this is back in the 80s. They were going to have their annual meeting in, in San Diego, and there was a snafu with the hotel reservations. Vegas said, we'll take you. You got 4,000 people. We'll do it. Uh, the MGM said, we'll take you. So all the physicists went to Vegas, and we know probability and statistics. We understand the fact that basically you don't win relative yeah. to the so, you know At the end of the week, there was a news headline. Physicists in town Lowest casino take ever. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's just, it's sad. It was like almost the saddest chapter that I wrote. But Walking. why do we feel that? So what is that feeling that makes us feel like, is it a feeling that we create? Is it a, where does that come from that makes us feel like this is it? It's know? because we don't have the brain wiring to know otherwise. I, I have no other accounting for it. We just don't think, uh, by the way, that branch of math was one of the last to be discovered. Mm. Do you realize probability and statistics was developed and discovered after calculus? Wow, if why? You can pick, because, I think it's because the brain can't, doesn't even know how to go there. I have a, I have a research paper from the mid-1700s, which feels like a long ago, but a lot of math had been developed before that, including calculus. And in that paper, it says, I've just discovered how helpful it is to take an average of numbers. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Right, that's pretty normal Some, stuff. So that's normal stuff. And somebody had to discover this. Wow. About the world. And so... So we, yeah, I guess we don't want... Because do you think also at that time there was a lot... There's also back then, there's more sorcery. There's more wizards. Yeah. There's more Less like, than, than the Middle Ages and stuff, but... Right, there's still a few milling around. Yeah, a few, and, and so... And so I think people, there's a little bit more mysticism then. So probability probably is something that probably would be the last thing you think about if somebody over here is, you know, I, Hester Prent and somebody I, at a damn... That, that's a perceptive party. point. Yeah. What, you, what you're saying, I think, is... Because we had sorcerers and wizards and people with mysterious powers and shamans and things, uh, they could live in the mystery of the probability and statistics, and you think it's a power that they wield. And so there's no urge to try to decode it because it's their powers. Right. Yeah. So I agree with you. you I think right. They hadn't really debunked all those powers. 100%. No, they hadn't. And religion was really at the t at the at, on everyone's breath. So yep. there was a lot more. I think. Uh, mystery. Yeah, and what, it's not just probable, even physiology. So, for example, you go back, you know, three, four hundred years, if you fell on the ground, mm -hmm. writhing and frothing at the mouth. People would think you were winning something from God. It, no, no, it's no, no, no. You ju uh, And you're doing this and you're shaking. The devil just occupied oh, your the body. Devil, boy. That's what the devil looks like and feels like. So, oh my gosh, the devil's there. Let me go to get the priest. So you're in a small town. How far away is the church? It's two blocks away. Okay. So you go down to, you know. Uh, but you could be choking on the damn muffin. Okay. 
You know what I'm it, saying? It could be, but I'm specifically referring to that condition okay. where you're frothing at the mouth. Okay. okay. So they get the priest. The priest gets the robe, the holy water, the, the crucifix. They go to on location. They bless him. Put the and then the symptoms go away. Oh, now you're healed by the priest. That is the exact. And it was a arc. seizure. And it was a seizure. It was an epileptic seizure. Damn. Epileptic seizure matches the time scale of you going to get a priest down the block in a small town. Yeah.